Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBC, and welcome back to another Cleveland Browns challenge on the channel. And today, as you see in the title, we're going to be seeing if we can beat the Cleveland Browns with a team full of wide receivers. If you guys missed the last video in this challenge series, please go check it out. The most wild one we have ever done, and the gameplay was easily the most wild we have ever done. I'm not going to try to spoil anything, but I will, if I remember, leave a link to that video in the description box below. But I will say, if we can... Like, if that happened in that video, we should be able to win, hopefully, I don't jinx myself, with the team full of wide receivers. Keep in mind, in this series, dating back to last year, we have never won. So we're going to see if today we can get things done and grab the first ever W in this series. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And if you do, make sure to drop a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't because if you haven't heard me talk about it in the videos thus far, and this might be the video where I do it, I am doing 22 days, I think, of Christmas, which I do a giveaway on one of my videos each and every day leading up to Christmas, which is going to entail, I think, four Xbox codes and four PS4, no, I lied, sorry, <laughs> two Xbox codes and two PS4 uh, codes in that one video per day be two at the beginning and two throughout the rest of the video so if you have your notifications on you will have the best chance to get those codes but with that said let's jump into the roster and show you guys who is going to be playing at each and every position now we are going to be using the la chargers in today's video now bj daniels is going to be the starting quarterback because he was drafted as a quarterback but imagine he's a wide receiver because he has played wide receiver since being drafted in the nfl play a little bit of backup quarterback then kind of swapped to wide receiver hence why he is the quarterback for today's video now the running back position julio jones antonio brown deandre hopkins larry fitz and vincent jackson and i'm probably going to end up putting one of these guys at the tight end position because once again I pay people to do my rosters for me and I want one of these guys to be at tight end rather than like the back of quarterback position. Now fullback is going to be Jarvis Landry, wide receiver which obviously is the strength of the team, AJ Green, Des Bryant, Jordy Nelson, and Travis Benjamin. At tight end this is why I want to have one of those guys at tight end. They put Asante Cleveland there. I mean he is good there like 6'5", 260 but I'd rather have one of those fast guys there. Now, on the offensive line, you got Jeff Fuller and this guy, freaking Namor EA. Like, did EA buy this guy's name or something? But anyways, left guard, Demarius Thomas and Rashard Matthew Center. You got Keenan Allen and Quentin Patton. Right guard, Adam Thielen and Eric Decker. Right tackle, Austin Hill and Travin Doral. At defensive end, we have Doug Baldwin and Michael Thomas. And one thing's certain. The teams we've played with thus far in the series have not had speed across the field, but with every single player on this team being a wide receiver, we're going to have speed everywhere, which we all know speed dominates in Madden, so with that being the case, we should have a chance no matter what, even though these guys aren't the best defensive ends. At right end, got Mike Evans and Emmanuel Sanders. The tackle got Golden Tate, Brandon Cooks, and T.Y. Hilton. Three of the smallest wide receivers in the league at defensive tackle. Don't know about it. At linebacker, we had Devontae Adams and Alshon Jeffrey. Middle linebacker got Michael Crabtree and Stephon Diggs. Got Kelvin Benjamin and Tyree Kill. Now, at cornerback, which is huge because we really haven't had that many fast guys in the secondary, but now we do. We have Mohamed Sanu, Chris Hogan, Jeremy Macklin, and Marquise Lee. Free safety, Alan Hearns, backed up by Devontae Parker. Strong safety, have Sterling Shepard and Sammy Watkins. And at kicker, got Robert Woods. And at punter, have a lot of, a lot of wide receivers at punter, but our, our starting punter, is going to be, I really don't know why Jason Verrett and some of the guys are here. Oh, that's because you can't freaking release injured players off the roster, which brings me to another point. That's why Odell Beckham Jr. isn't in today's video, because you can't trade him on any team, because he's it's stupid, because he's injured. I apologize about that. But, I'm actually going to, Danny Amendola is going to be our starting punter. So hopefully, I haven't spoiled anything up to this point. Hopefully, you want to go watch the video if you haven't already. But, we did, unfortunately, lose the game, and we used a team of kickers. Which means, we are going to be buying 250,000 coins worth of West Saxons. Now, it's been about a week since I uploaded the last one, so I have to see if people still did keep listening up to West Saxons. And yes, you did. This is why I like you guys. Not many people did, but you kept re-listening them. I told you guys to keep doing it. So, there's a lot for 50k. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy one. You know what? Let's give this guy 150 k Why not? Let's do a big bet. I told you it's going to be completely random how I pick him. So this one going to give away 150,000 coins to one fella. So we're going to buy probably two more for 50 k to make it pretty quick. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me buy a bunch of West Saxons. But we bought that one. Now let's go ahead. You know what? We'll buy this one for 30 k We'll buy the other one for 20k, and then one more for 50k. So we give away, my math is right, four West Saxons 
for these absolute geniuses that kept re-listing the West Saxons because it has been a week, like I said, or maybe they just got lucky and saw it yesterday and re-listed them today. But nevertheless, these guys do win themselves some free coins. I'm at an 18 Ultimate Team, and be sure if I do lose, which hopefully I don't, because I'm sick of giving away 250,000 coins every day. That's freaking hard-earned money I spend it on packs. But anyways, if I do lose today, be sure to list your West Saxons for varying amounts so I can buy them in the next video if I do lose today. And as you guys see, we're a 44 overall. The team we played with last episode was a 9. Was a 9. And we almost freaking won. It, we were 20 yards away from winning that game. So, if that's any indication, we should at least have a good chance to at least stay within this game. Because normally we lose these games with like 30 points. But somehow, some way, in the last game, we kept it close. So let's see if we can do it again today. Oh shoot, I am not playing 15 minute quarters. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm an idiot and want to try a different playbook. So I tried the spread playbook and I didn't realize it was not going to have one formation under like center. So that sucks, but that's my fault for being stupid. So here, we're going to run the ball with Julio Jones and this has got off to a fantastic start. So with that said, third down and 22. Not really sure if we're going to be able to convert this, but yeah, look how many formations we have. Gun, pistol, goal line, and Hail Mary. Good. <laughs> Freaking good. So, we're effed. We're absolutely effed. Let's just pick a play that looks fun. Third down and 22. Not sure if BJ Daniels can actually throw the ball 22 yards, but we're going to attempt it nonetheless. So with that, see if Des Bryant can catch this off the post. Oh my. Oh my. Des Bryant! Picked off. Good. Good start. Play better with the freaking theme of kickers. Like, even though we have, like, spicy peanuts playing in the secondary, I'm not too worried about them throwing the ball on me. I'm just worried about them, like, pounding the rock, like, in misdirections and stuff, because I really don't know how that's going to work out too well for us. But anyways, Zayo Crowell breaks a tackle, but we at least stop him for only a four-yard gain. Second and a six, they're going to run the ball again. It's going to be another misdirection to the weak side, but I think somehow Chris Hogan got there before he picked up the first down, which means this is going to be a third down of one. This is where we kept in last game, man. Third and one. Do I under bring pressure? <laughs> this might be a big, big mistake, but I am going to bring pressure. Can we get the stop? Please don't throw it. Run a toss. Run it right the gut. In Shepard. I think he got it. Unfortunately, I think he did get it. Did he get it? Did he get fourth and inches, baby? Let's go. Third down and ten. See if somehow, some way, can pick this up because I don't like our chances. We have to punt the ball once again. Oh my. A's gonna be open. That's gonna be. Jarvis Landry with the catch of dreams. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's the type of luck we're going to have to have in today's game to have any chance whatsoever. So we're going to stay in this formation and see if we can get some type of run. And when we have speed, we have guys that can pull, but they're just about two foot tall. Julio Jones, I got to, okay, I have to go back to watch that with my own two eyes. Did, if, I'm not, if I'm not stupid, I feel like I just saw one of our guys just literally let somebody run right past them. So, yeah. Whoa. How? How does this happen? Can anybody tell me how 56 gets through this? Michael Crabtree tries to block him with his elbow. That, that's, not, that's not good blocking technique. Bad. Bad, Michael. Third and four. Can the good boys do it? We're going to scramble. We're going to scramble. We have Y open, but we're going to scramble because we have a guy named BJ. So if you're familiar with how these series go, this is like the only way we get any offense for the most part. It's fake punts. It takes a lot of freaking luck, especially with a freaking Danny. Danny's throwing the football here. Please, Danny, I'm begging you. Come on, please. Yes, yes, yes. If that was a freaking punter running that route, he would not have got there. But thank God for freaking Parker. I'm guessing that's Devontae Parker because thank God with his speed, that wasn't an overthrow. 99% of the time with the normal teams we play with, thank God we had speed there. But if that was a normal team that we play with, that would have been an overthrow. So first down and 10, I want to run the ball with Julio, but it's just not working. Actually, Antonio Brown's going to get his first carry. Antonio Brown is going to get into the end zone, boys. Let's go. This might be the game. This might be the game where this series is turned upside down as we will get our first win, which will save me 250,000 coins. Uh-oh. I completely forgot. We have Robert kicking this. I don't think Robert's going to be able to make this. But I guess it's good for future reference. I don't think Robert's going to make it. Robert, please. <laughs> Robert? Dog, I've seen a zero overall kicker do better than that. Robert, I got I to gotta see something. Let's just analyze this kick. Robert. Robert, we have got to do better than that. 
I want better effort next time out. Robert kicked the ball. Did he miss the ball? Did he ex? Robert missed the ball. Like, I want to try and show you guys what I mean. So hopefully you can see when I press A, like I hope this is synced perfectly. So when I click A, when you use anybody that's not a kicker, like it lags when you press A. So I'm pressing A, it hasn't started yet, it hasn't started yet, now it starts. That's the only time it lags. When you press A to start it, and like three seconds later, the actual kick meter starts. Dog, somebody just teleported across the universe. Can I, can I, can I, can I not pause the game? Am I not allowed to pause the game? Can I pause the game and see what man just flew across the universe? So nice little throw across his body from Deshaun Kaiser. I don't know, that's a, that's a great NFL throw. But I saw a man. I saw a man just teleport. Who was it? Show yourself. Dog, what what is that? What just happened on my screen? Can anybody? Dog, dog, what is this? What is this? Can anybody tell me why we have guys taking pictures of us while we're playing football and taking pictures of us on the field? This is unbelievable. That's got to be a penalty. That has got to be a penalty. I knew something, some work of the devil just happened, but I, I, it was too fast to actually see this. I've got, I have got to take a screenshot of this. This is insane. Dude, there is something wrong going on here. Something is not right. This, there, there's three guys taking pictures. One guy's inside of two guys taking pictures, and then you have over here, you have, you have three triplets taking, taking pictures of what? I really don't know. They're pointing towards the sideline. Got this, fellas. We're the one. We're the way. We're the life. Here's a guy open. That's a pick. That's what we do best. We're wide receivers, baby. Muhammad Sanu. Stay up. Can we get a pick? Oh, 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 mom, mama. Block him. Block that big man. Block that big. Go. Break a tackle. Yay. Like, as long as we can keep them out of the end zone, I, I feel confident in our ability to be a good person and a good team. So, they're running the ball again. Michael Crabtree is there. Oh gosh, he's running backwards. Chris Chris Hogan, he's the greatest linebacker of all time. And thank God Crowell broke those two tackles because now it's a third down of 15 and my boys are ready to be great. Can't believe we actually got a pick with this team. But anyways, third down of 15. Can we do it, my men? Can we do it? Oh, please. Please, Dad, please. Gonna guess run. All right, let's be smart. Let's be the men that we're meant to be. He throws it underneath. Seth, <laughs> Seth tries to toe tap 15 yards before the freaking first down marker. Third down and eight. Gotta be great and pick up the first down with the guy named Nate. We have, we don't have anybody named Nate, so I have to do a plan B here. That pill costs like a lot of money. Oh my, Antonio Brown with the route running of a god gets the first down. Maybe that's the move there. Since he has like, what, probably 98, 99 route running, that route, which is normally ran by a fullback who probably has like 70, he cuts on a dime. And there's no way a linebacker can keep, can keep up with them. Oh, mama. We found the way. No! No! Dog, no! BJ, bad. Bad, BJ, bad, 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 bad. Like, why did I loft that? I don't know. But it shouldn't have been that bad of a pass, BJ. Here they go with this freaking nonsense. Go monster. Alan Hearns is going to be there. Everybody's got pancake, but we're still alive. We're still moving. We still have good blood pressure, and we still have a good rest and heart rate. Third down and eight. Gotta be great. Gotta get this stop, my man. If we can hold him to a field goal, I have a good, a good, good, good feeling that we're gonna be a good people and get a dub. But we just gotta get the stop first. Deshaun Kaiser, this is a draw. This is a draw play of some sort. Can we get the stop? Oh, poop. Uh oh, I forgot. I kept running the clock. This is not good. Second down and 24. Need a good, good play here. Need a good, good play. Go up the field. Go up the field, Antonio. He's one on one. He's one on one. Antonio Brown, go up. Antonio Brown, break the tackle. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Antonio Brown, I steps into the end zone. As with a minute and 15 seconds left, we can possibly get this dub, the closest we've ever been, my men. A minute and four seconds remaining. My heart rate's high. It's a freaking rate that's high. But Antonio Brown, that's that's why I wanted to have him on the field, and that's that's good. So we can't kick a field goal. That's obvious. So we're gonna try that same exact play for the two point conversion, my men. This is huge. If we get this, they have got to score a touchdown and go for two. Oh, mom, please, mom, I need your help one final time. Please. We're gonna scramble. That's that's not good. That's not good. A's open. But us uh, holding, isn't it? We got it. That's holding. That's bad. Bad, bad O line. Bad. Who did it? Who's the man that did it? Was it Eric? 
Oh, we have to do it from like 10 yards back. Freaking Eric. Maybe they'll decline it. Okay, they didn't decline it. So now, we have to do it from the 12 yard line, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, this might be easier to cut on that dime for Antonio Brown. But let's see. Like, the curls, it's just either Antonio or Bust to your men. It might work. Please, please make the throw. BJ Daniels, I hate you. I hate you. Oh, man, I'm a scared, scared boy. I'm a scared, scared boy. First down and 10. A minute to go from roughly midfield. A pick would be great, or a sack would be good, too. Or a throw to Isaiah. Stay in bounds. He didn't. And there it is again. Although, I said to cover to the outside. They didn't cover to the outside. This is bad. This is bad. They're 30 yards away. If we lose by one point because we have a kicker that misses the extra point, that actually misses the gosh dang football. I'm going to be a sad boy. I'm going to be a sad, sad boy, and I'm going to write a poem about it. Come on, somebody get the sack, please. Get the sack. No. I am not believing that's a real thing. There is no way. <laughs> Woo! Somebody's about to get roasted. This man is about to get roasted. Who just got stiff armed by Deshaun Kaiser? Who actually in their right mind just got stiff armed? Who is this? Who are you? Who's the bad man? Golden Tate. Golden freaking Tate. Please, he's gonna throw it. We're gonna be there. We're gonna not stop it. Oh my, 17 seconds to go. <laughs> Dude, if they score, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna actually be so sad. We're gonna get this close. They have one timeout left. Oh boys, can we do it one final time? One final time. He's gonna scramble. He's gonna be open. Can we stop him? Oh, he went out of bounds. <laughs> the two yard line. My heart, man. My freaking heart, dude. My, like, the freaking guys didn't die in this, in this. The guys didn't die in the war for this, seriously. Is he gonna run the football? He's probably gonna run the football, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm a scared man. A pick. A pick would be good. Pick, please. Pick, please. Scramble! Fumble! Fumble! He got it. <laughs> Not like this, Doc. Please, six seconds to go. Third and goal from the seven. We need one stop. One stop, please. Guys, this is this is hurting my heart. One stop and just keep them in bounds. Keep them in bounds. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for, please. Fourth down and goal from the seven-yard line. Kick, just kick the field goal and call it even. Just kick the field goal and we can say you won and you really didn't win. They're, gonna, they're not kicking the field goal. Fourth down and goal. It all comes down to this from the seven yard line, my men. I'm a scared boy. I'm a scared young freaking painter. Like, I'm Tom Sawyer right now. Oh, please. Oh, please. No! 